You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, anymore. well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this then. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out there, there's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's see if we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's nice. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational. Greedy. 
So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're in playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over in Nam. Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. This about Marcano? No, nah, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right. See you soon.
you cook. My ma's bucatini recipe. I know, I thought I'd give it a try. She back in Empire Bay? No, she, uh, she passed a while ago. You got any folks back there? Take a look at that paper. Some city councilman's up for re-election. I need a favor. Who is he? You tied up with Marcano? This fuck. Him and his pals killed a friend of mine. Look, he'd see me coming from a mile away. Oh, yeah, because I'm so inconspicuous. You know how to get the people. It's taken me 12 years and a lot of money to find this cocksucker. I'd make it worth your while. And I'd consider it a personal favor. I'll think about it. If you're having trouble finding him, look for somebody on the street might be willing to give him up. When you're done, come back here. You've got a lot more names need to be X'd out. First motherfucker I want you to hit. You're gonna need a bigger mattress for all this cash, kid.
Well, at the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking, hoping really that, uh... If I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marconos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. If there ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him.
I think us going to Sammy's like this is gonna do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. I think she's setting her mind on doing something with Samus. Hmm. Can't hardly see what. In the shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Perla passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried a loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen, told him he was doing wrong by Perla. But more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending a message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights. Getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son.
walk on out front. We need to get on inside. Take her back. He's right fucking there. Yeah, He's not been cleansed. <laughs> this is the end of your rotten life, Bill. Taking cover. Look for your life. Fucking grenade. Lincoln, this here's Anna, and those men dealt with. But if more come, I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tikfa. It's safe. You... you don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Gonna take a look around inside first. Covered in blood. Covered in blood. In blood? <laughs> We're taking care of you now.
Jesus. Who the fuck were those people? Should use my recon camera here. Everybody tells a story. Shot him as he was running away. Ligature marks. Must have had him tied up. So they drag him in here. But when he tries to escape, they shoot him dead. But why were they in here at all? Interesting. No signs of being restrained. Never seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. Some kind of tattoo might mean something. like he took a knife to the gut. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. I think I have what I need. Should go meet with Father James.
Well, during World War II, they called it uh, battle fatigue. Maybe even combat stress reaction. But I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock. We all heard it said before that uh, war is hell. Ain't no surprise there. The pain, the guilt, the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. It sticks to your soul. So I, uh... I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. I've been talking to Anna about those men over at Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with him, willingly. That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French for covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated the new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. Lincoln? I need to show you something. Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher. My eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his hands off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? They're not so bad? This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But well, why hasn't someone said them to you sooner? Be part of us, Anna, baby. Bonnie, she made me feel welcome, like I belonged. Is that why you went to Sammy? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I... I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The... 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 the, the crying. And... The tears and, 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 and the blood, he was joking. The, the, the sadness. Look at me, Anna. 
people like this have a process for indoctrinating folks. Where else did Bonnie take you? A nightclub. Uh, Nuit Blanche, that's where they bring people into the family. Yeah, I know it. A hippie club downtown. And that playing card? That's the only way they'll let you inside. Got you. I, I hey, you did good here, Anna. Hmm? You did good. I did good. Uh, careful of the fallen sky. The mind is in the flesh. Consumes it. Scott falls the mind is in the sense of the flesh consumes it. This girl needs help. Doctors and nurses looking after her. Do you really think that's what will happen? Girl like her with nothing to her name? I mean, they'll toss her in a padded cell and just forget about her. We both know how much this city cares for the poor and the infirmed. So we're all she's got. I'll get her some nourishment. You do what you got to do, son. Thanks, father. <laughs>